Hey everyone, Jeremy Senpai here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you like what you hear, feel free to hit like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. All right, on with the show. As always, keep calm and put your headphones on. All right, let's see. I got done with my shift a little bit early. I had enough time to go home and change out my red and black. I'm wearing that new shirt that I got at the mall the other day. I'm wearing my favorite cologne. Okay, I am ready for this. Oh, there she is. There's the champion. Um, hey, uh, sorry. I hope you weren't waiting for me long. I, uh, I just got here. So, how are you doing? I'm, I'm real happy to hear that. Oh, you want to sit down for a bit before we move on to our date? Sure, no problem. How was, how was my day? Well, people are still a bit weary of Team Rocket. Even though we've tra- even though we've- <sighs> changed leadership, and we devoted ourselves to helping out instead of, you know, stealing Pokemon and other things. Whenever people see that big red R, they understandably are very weary of us. They assume the worst. But I'm happy with the new direction Team Rocket's going. I mean... <laughs> I was never really a big fan of the whole crime syndicate thing, but Boss Giovanni hasn't been seen in months, and all of the lieutenants are gone. So, when it changed hands, me along with a few dozen of the grunts decided to stay on. You know, we wanted to take the Team Rocket name and make it something positive. But that hasn't stopped people from being mad at us. No, no, you're right, you're right. I mean, I myself never really did anything too bad. Most of my jobs were just guard duty. I didn't steal Pokemon, and I didn't commit any crimes. All, all I really did was protect, protect the gym, you know? That was, uh, that was the worst of my crimes. Yeah, that, that is actually how we met. I still remember it to this day, only, it's hard to believe it was only a few months ago. You just swaggered right into Viridian Gym, and you were ready to challenge the boss. And, well, I was probably a member of Team Rocket for only a few weeks by that point. Well, I called out Golbat, and I called out my Rhyhorn. And you made quick work of both of them using blast toys. And I was like so down on myself. This was my very first big assignment and I failed it. I mean, I was expecting you to just rub it in like all my co-workers did. Saying how, saying how that kid, I mean, you're definitely not a kid anymore. You're the Pokemon champion. Saying how you one-shot both of my Pokemon. I still remember I was fighting back the urge to cry, but you just walked right up to me. You put your hand on my shoulder and asked if I'd be okay. And then you gave me Super Potion for both my Pokemon. Telling me that would hold both of them over until I could get to the Pokemon Center. I... I was amazed. It's the first time that anyone has treated a rocket grunt with actual kindness and dignity. Yeah, and then you went on to defeat Giovanni. You got the Earth Badge, and not long after that, you became the Pokemon Champion. It's really funny how life works out, isn't it? I still remember... And the looks on all of my colleagues' faces when they saw it on the news. And 
I was probably the least surprised. I mean, you, there's just something about you, you know? I didn't have a doubt in my mind that you would become the Pokemon champion. But actually seeing it, it was a bit of a surprise, but at the same time, it was a good surprise, you know? And one thing clicked into my head. I needed to talk to her again. I needed to tell her thank you for believing in me and being compassionate towards me. So I I kind of followed you around for a little while, trying to build up the courage to talk to you again. And imagine my surprise when you <laughs> when you catch me. And I am just I was just fumbling over my words. It was then that I started to realize just how radiant you really were. I mean, it it was like after you became the champion, there was just this new aura about you that I couldn't help but blush at. You're really incredible, you know that? Yeah, and before I knew it, we... We started dating. It's hard to believe it's only been a few months, but feels like another lifetime ago. And just a couple of weeks after that, Team Rocket changed leadership. And at the very least, here in the Kanto region. From what I hear, there's a whole bunch of purist supporters over in Johto. And they're definitely causing trouble. Yeah, that, that really hasn't helped the uh, new Rocket reputation. In fact, the new leader... Yeah, I, I don't really know his name. The new Rocket leader, he actually had to publicly... He had to publicly denounce the members in Johto. So people don't feel more off-put by us than they do already. I can tell that it really eats away at him. Well, there's not really a lot to say. I'm I mean I'm real happy that he that he decided to keep on leading Team Rocket and that he wants us to be a force for good. I mean, now we're being paid actual money. We're allowed weekends off, we're allowed benefits. I mean, don't get the wrong idea, Giovanni wasn't exactly a bad boss, but he was just more obsessed, if anything else. He didn't really think much of us grunts. We were just pawns to him, fodder. But now, everybody, including a grunt like me, is treated with respect. I'm real happy with our new direction. And to think, it's all because of you. It's all because you stopped Team Rocket. It's all because you beat Giovanni. And now you're the champion. You're you're really incredible. Oh, come on, you are. You've come a long way since your Squirtle. And now look at it. It's a big, amazing Blastoise. Oh, don't worry about Goldbat and Rhyhorn. They both have already forgiven him. Yeah, that's, that's another thing that my colleagues kind of teased me about. Saying how weak my Pokemon must be to get beaten by your Blastoise. But Golbat and Rhyhorn are my Pokemon. They're my partners. I caught both of them and I trained both of them. I'm not going to let anyone ever talk badly about them. Yeah. Well, I have all this confidence now because of you. You're, you're really amazing. And I'm real happy to be your boyfriend. You really don't mind dating a former enemy, do you? Well, I never thought that I'd be lucky enough to date the Pokemon champion. Yeah, life really does work in mysterious ways, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. So, how's the Pokedex coming along? 
I know that you have 150 total, so where are you at right now? 132. You're so close. I mean, you're going to accomplish what so many people never thought possible. You're going to document all of the Pokemon that we know about. That's, that's so cool. I'm really proud of you. And hey, if you need anything, you just say so. No, of course I'm not gonna steal Pokemon or anything for you, but at the very least, I think I might be able to help you find some places where you can, where you can find more. Well, a lot of the uh, senior grunts, uh, they told me that they actually caught a lot of their Pokemon traditionally, like in the wild. So if I asked them specifically what Pokemon you might be missing, they could probably point us in the right direction. Oh, oh, I, I said us instead of you. Um, I mean, <clears throat> I wouldn't mind joining you sometime. I, I can help support you, you know. You don't mind me being along for the ride? That's so great. I promise you won't regret it. Okay, that's settled. On my next day off, we'll go hunt. We'll go Pokemon catching. And you know what? It's about time that I that I added a third member to my team. Anyone to recommend? Someone that Goldbat and Rhyhorn can get along with? Um. Would I consider getting a starter? Gee, I, uh, never gave it much thought. Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle are pretty rare to find in the wild. I mean, no, none of them have ever been caught by Team Rocket. So, I never really gave it much thought if I ever had one. But, if I had to pick one right now... I think my pick would be Bulbasaur. Well, not a lot of people give Bulbasaur enough credit, in my opinion. Yeah, I know, um, Blue, Blue had a Venusaur, but, but be honest, everybody goes for either Squirtle or Charmander. You even admitted to me that if it wasn't for Squirtle, you probably would have gone with Charmander. And I know that you had to catch Bulbasaur to complete the decks. But... I just feel like Bulbasaur does get enough love, you know? So yeah, if I'm able to, I would love to catch a Bulbasaur. You... You actually found a place where there's a wild Bulbasaur? I, I would like to see it. Yeah, I would love to catch a wild Bulbasaur and add to my team. And I'm sure that they would love to have a new friend. Sounds good. We can do that on my next day off. After I help you complete the Pokedex. No reason why, why we can't do both, huh? Yeah, I can respect that. Well, I think we've sat down long enough. Oh, there's ice cream over there. Way say we grab some. You know, the perfect start to our date. Alright then, lead the way, champion. <laughs>